morning everyone we're back in the kitchen for another kitchen demonstration what we're doing today is planting sweet potatoes now who doesn't like sweet potatoes what we want to do is we want to grow more sweet potatoes so how do we do it it's a really really simple even if you don't want to grow them in the garden you can turn them into a pretty house plant that grows in a vine really really pretty and I did I think I've done this in first grade or in kindergarten we're going to stick three toothpicks at around the half point line. Now it doesn't really matter which side. I stick it in like that. Simple as, okay? I'm going to fill it with water. Put it on the windowsill for some sun. Now, this is what happens. Let's take a look at what happens. We have here are the plants growing and they're gonna to continue to vine all the way up for, for really long. And these are the roots that came out of the potato. Look at that, look how many roots. Now, if we wanna grow potatoes in the garden, what do we do? This is amazing, I love doing this. But I'm going to take off, this is how I grow them in the plant. I am gonna take this off and this is what we grow in the garden. This is gonna grow more sweet potatoes. But before I put it in the garden, I wanna root it. So I'm gonna stick this into water and roots are gonna start coming out from here. And once they're roots, then I'll put this in the garden. So every time there's one that's big enough, I'll wait another day or two for this one. I can get, look, there's already five growing from this one sweet potato and they keep growing. So I can get like 20 starts. This is called a start. I can get 20 starts from one sweet potato. I'm gonna stick it in here and into the water and it's gonna grow its own roots. I can put it in a separate cup too, but I'm gonna stick it here, it's gonna grow its own roots. And then... Okay, just arrived at Nakorha Mix. Animal store, food supply store. I wanna get a mix for my animals, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm here in the store. I finally found a store that uh, mixes grains for chickens. It's not organic. I usually mix my own grain, but I, I'm gonna try out to see what his stuff is. And I like it that I can see exactly what everything is. I don't like the crumbles that you don't see. For example, this is also chicken food. Right? We don't know what's in it. You can't see it. I don't like it. So, slowly I'll see what he has. I'm also going to get this. This is a waterer. And it's perfect for my little quail that's going to be born. Because they're so tiny, they won't drown in here. So, I'm going to pick up two of these for the quail. I don't need two for the quail, but it's good to have. If you have an injured animal or something, you have one thing that's good. What else am I gonna get? Oh yeah, this is the net. Far better than what I'm chicken catching net. Lucky is gonna get caught because I'm buying one of these nets. <laughs> Far better than the one I tried to concoct. And that's it. So that was bad. So you are very one lucky parrot. Look how many different kinds of food you have here. Oh, I don't even know what this this is. I don't even know who you are. Black and white. Okay, yeah, just saying hi. Oh, here's more. Apparently people are very into parrots. This is the things that I've got. I've never bought in commercial chicken feed before. I've always mixed it up myself from the ingredients. I'm trying to like find things that will make life easier. So I brought some stuff, gonna mix together. They had no turkey feed and they have no quail feed. So I have to go figure that one out. I'm gonna try to start figuring out ratios and things for everyone and seeing what I can get organic and where and what. It's, I'm not, I'm not very familiar with this, especially in Israel, but I'm gonna work on it and that's a, it's a big project. Meanwhile, I got some, feed i am going to soak it before i'm still going to soak it i've been soaking my feed all the time 
I'm still going to soak it. Soaking it, soaking it releases um, some of that energy in the grain so it's easier accessible and the grain grows when it's when it absorbs the water so you're actually feeding less and getting more we're going to figure it out this guy from the store is willing to work with me and see what we can come up with together so this is a pre-mix and then i have here um, a chicky mix this is chicky crumble i don't like it at all but i'm going to be having a lot of chicks in the next uh, two weeks. And I wanted to have a backup to know that I have something always available. This is a big sack of sunflower seeds that are amazing source of goodness for the turkeys, the chickens like them, the quail. I actually planted some of these and I hope that they'll come up so we can make our own sunflower seeds. I just planted it directly from this. Okay, this is the new net. <laughs> yes. Yeah? Yeah. No. Okay, so this worked. <laughs> All right. I know, Lucky, I know. You don't like this, but we gotta do this. Lucky, yes, I. <laughs> I say it's okay, it's okay. All right, we did this. Now, we're gonna cut her wings. It's not gonna hurt her, but she can't go flying into my garden anymore. It's okay. I know, it doesn't hurt. You're upset. You're not gonna be as free as you are, I know. <laughs> okay, you're just giving a haircut. You'll be okay. You know what else we're going to do for you? This is diatomaceous earth, and I'm just going to sprinkle her with some diatomaceous earth against chicken lice. Okay, that's it. Sorry. And then we're gonna say bye Lucky. <laughs> hey Shavua Tov everyone. It's Matzah Shabbos and I want to show you how we candle the eggs. It's day eight and the humidity is 50. It's gonna start beeping when we when I open it and take out some eggs but that's okay. Just bear with the noise and it's gonna be dark but I just want to show you how we candle egg. I'm just taking out a random egg and I'm going to put it here. You can see it best. Oh, there you go. See that? With the veins? So that is how we candle eggs. Okay, this one is not fertilized. See that you can't see anything? There's no veins, there's nothing. So I'm just gonna take it out. Okay, this one's really starting to develop. Okay. Wow, so is this one. Okay, so how does it work? The chick develops inside the yolk. And it, as it grows, it eats more and more of the yolk and that provides its nutrition and it grows inside the yolk bigger and bigger. The, the white part is there to um, cushion it, supply extra nutrients, and at the end, all that's left is a little ear sac to poke out of and the chick swallows the left left over of the yolk before it's born so it doesn't need to eat for the first 24 hours it has all the nutrients it needs 
So, they're already used to me coming. I just have to say, kitty, 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 meow, meow. And we see some faces. Huh? Kitty, 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 kitty. I know you guys can't resist. How about you? You coming out today? I'm going to call the Kitty Rescue Center to come pick them up. He's different. He has like a different fur. Looks, probably looks more like his dad.